We are introducing a new way to import recipes into Saffron, and that is through plain text. So we have a new button here that says import recipe from text. And how it works is if you have a recipe that is just some text, you can paste it in here and Saffron will try to import it. So this is useful for things like PDFs, Google Docs, YouTube descriptions, anywhere where the recipe is just in a blob of text. So for example here, I have a recipe inside of a PDF, and now what you can do is just copy the text, and copy it to your clipboard, come back over to Saffron, paste it in here, and then press import. And then what Saffron will try to do is identify the different parts of a recipe in that text. So you can see this is what I thought the title was, this is what the description is, servings, and then we have the ingredients and the instructions over here. And you can see it misassigned the header here, so it is not always 100% accurate, but it tries its best to kind of get the different categories inside of the text. Another example is with Google Docs. So here I have a recipe and I can just copy the text in here, just command all to copy it all. Come back over to Saffron, import the text. And then you can see it grabs the entire recipe, including the image with Google Docs. And we can see it also correctly did the ingredients and instructions here. Now when you're importing text like this, it's going to be hit or miss how accurate it is. So I wanted to give you some idea of how this works behind the scenes so you can improve the accuracy when you're importing different texts. So first off, we are importing the title or the name of the recipe based on just like the first thing that comes up here. So you can see here, Singapore style rice noodles is the first item and that is really what we assign the name. There's not really any other indicator that we use other than we look for things that do not end in punctuation. So if you want to name your recipe, you want the first thing in the text to be the name of it. Then after that, the main thing to note is with the ingredients, you wanna make sure that there is a line between ingredients. So sometimes when you're pasting text like this, they're all mashed up into one line like this, and that can cause a problem. So you wanna make sure it's a single line per ingredient, and then that will parse out the best. And then other than that, if it has trouble splitting between the ingredients and the directions and which one it is, you can just go in here and add a word like preparation or ingredients where it starts and that will improve it and split them even better. Though by default, it should be able to pick this up pretty well, but that is how you can improve it if things are not working out well. I also want to mention that you can use this with OCR. So if you have taken a picture of a recipe, you can use some kind of tool to OCR it, and basically read the text from the image. So this is one such tool. And then you can grab that text and put into Saffron. Uh, but just wanted to let you know, this is really hit or miss depending on how the OCR system actually gets the text. A lot of times the text that actually tries to read from the image is not very good. But this is something you can try and some recipes will import well, some won't. You're going to have to just test it and see how uh, it works for yours. Lastly, I want to mention we updated how you can actually add pictures as well. So we have an add image button here and it's a little bit more flexible. So along with just being able to click and upload an image, you can also drag and drop here now, and you can also paste an image. So this can be helpful when you just see an image on a website or somewhere where you can actually just right click and copy the image. And then you can come back over to Saffron and then just hit Command V or Control V, and you can paste in the image and it just goes right in.